Good morning. Proud, what up? Y'all know I'm finna talk my shit. I got to. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. Listen, so I just want to tell y'all this first off, right? Um, and I feel like I don't say this enough. Um, I say this to my girls a lot. My daughters, like, I tell them, you know, after a while, you're going to realize you in your own way, right? And that's a whole message in its own. Male or female, a lot of y'all, you're in your own way, right? Like, you your own roadblock. You the main problem in your life. You're the actual obstacle. You know, the, your brain, the way you process stuff is the issue. It ain't really the people around you. The boundaries that you haven't set for yourself, the goals you don't have wrote out for yourself, the plan that you don't have or the one you got that your ass don't follow because of lack of discipline. This is your biggest issue. A lot of y'all, your parents, the people around you that care about you, they haven't told you this enough. It literally is you versus you. You versus your own thoughts. You versus your own perspectives. You versus your own mind. You versus your own emotions, your own feelings, your own perception of what's happening to you. That's literally your biggest block. Now, I said that to say this, right? A lot of y'all, you don't realize that you lie to yourself to cope with your current state, right? You tell yourself shit that's not true about how you're doing to make yourself feel better. And this is the reason why a lot of y'all don't go as hard as you should. This is the reason why you don't take your goals. You don't have any goals for a lot of y'all. Or you got some of them bitches unrealistic um, as far as where you're at. Like I talk to a lot of y'all and you run down me. All these goals, but then when I get to the tally up part about what your life actually looks like right now. And I ask you certain questions to see what you actually know about what's going on in the world. What's going on with you. What you actually have access to. What your resources are. You, you dumb when it comes to this like a lot of y'all you're not real with yourself that i don't know enough about money management and budgeting which is why i could never really tackle this i can make some money but i don't know how to grow it invest it create multiple streams i don't know how to spend money with some sense i don't know how to actually be disciplined and organized about it same goes for relationships a lot of y'all you got it wrote out what you want or you got in your mind this is the type of female i want to deal with this is how i want my household set up this is what i don't want to put up with but then when when you get into conversations with me about, okay, what are healthy strategies on communicating? What's the foundation of a solid relationship? What's the importance of privacy? Explain what that means. Management of em emotions. Do you have that under control? Or are you just somebody that's going to just keep going around talking about you got a right to feel how you want to feel? Like, what do you literally understand about the strategies and the doing of being better? Not just wanting better, but do you actually know how to fuck it? A lot of y'all lying to yourselves. Like, we spend money on things that make us feel like we're doing better than what we're doing. A lot of y'all, you hear me talk about basics a lot. You grown. You don't have your basics together, but you just keep telling yourself you have some sort of level of success that you don't have. You don't have transportation and paying your bills fully under control to where you're stable and you don't have to stress about it. You don't have your living situation mapped out to where you're taking ownership for how you pay your bills and how much money you do have and what you don't have. And, you know, handling the responsibilities that you created. You don't have that under control. 
a lot of y'all, you talk about like being well put together and feeling like, you know, it ain't me, it's them, man. It's these niggas and it's these bitches. But when we talk about discipline and privacy and managing your emotions and healthy communication and understanding what respect is and understanding trust is a choice that if you got this stuff weighing on you from the past, you need therapy and shit like that. You don't have this stuff under control. And this is just the basic shit. But if you keep telling yourself that you do, you'll never get it under control because you got your, your own mind thinking that you good when you ain't. A lot of y'all, man, it's the lies you tell self. It's the false perception that you're at some sort of level that you're not at. And it ain't that you telling us this shit. It don't even matter what you put online. Don't matter what you tell your relatives. It really don't matter what the fuck you telling other people. What it, what matters is what are you telling yourself about your situation, nigga? What are you telling yourself about your situation, bitch? A lot of y'all, like, if you really was real with you about where you're at in life, you'd be reading more. You'd be worried about your diet. You'd be actually analyzing your goals every day. Your mindset would be on the bag. It wouldn't be on who for you, who Ain't what niggas was in your corner, what niggas wasn't, what bitches was talking about you, who posted what online, who doing what with their kids, what the celebrities doing. It will literally be me somewhere being fucked up by me because I'm fucked up. Y'all don't realize, like for a lot of us, we get a lot of dollars. Bitch ain't got much sense to go along with that shit. Like make money, don't know how to manage. And then some of y'all, the, the, the biggest lie you tell to yourself is that you somehow are going to know how to do better without actually knowing how to do better. Like I be telling people, and I've been saying this a lot lately to a lot of people. Like if you don't go read and get smarter, if you don't actually go network and educate yourself on how to maneuver different, how do you just know how to maneuver different? If you don't understand the lessons and the poor choices you made from the past and your poor judgment and picking people and, and, and gravitating towards certain characters, like how do you know? to do better how do you know how to actually do better if you haven't educated yourself on tips and strategies y'all will get out of a relationship and feel like you're just automatically a higher level you because you're not in that no more and then you turn around and pick the same thing again get back in some shit with a different person that looked the same as what it was before because you ain't gonna do no reflecting no educate you don't just know more you don't just wake up and automatically know how to manage hundreds of thousands of dollars you don't just wake up and understand now how to be a better communicator you don't just wake up tomorrow and understand how to manage your emotions you don't just wake up and understand how to build a career in a certain area you got to educate yourself Somebody to my whoever messing with the live. Y'all ass crazy. Why y'all think somebody messing with the live? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, IG. I'm telling y'all some good shit. Right, Tasha. Like y'all be really believing y'all doing better, but you ain't doing better. It'd be a different name, same category, same bullshit, different person. You feel like because it's a different person, somehow it ain't the same shit or it ain't you. Like a lot of y'all, you just got to start being honest with yourself, man. But what you telling the world, what is you telling you? Some of y'all, man, you got to start being real with yourself. I be talking to some of y'all, looking at, you know, some of y'all situations based on y'all bringing me, you know, y'all life, you know, looking for advice or just trying to like, you know, level with me and, and, and rub elbows with somebody that you feel like is smart or whatever. And I be like, you know, I can tell you don't read. You ain't honest with yourself about how well you're doing. Like, this is the biggest mistake, and I'm going to be so 1K with y'all. 
This is the biggest mistake a lot of y'all make on your journey to like trying to be a better you, trying to be wealthier, trying to be smarter, trying to be just a higher valued version of yourself, right? The biggest mistake is as soon as y'all get around people that you know know more than you or you know got more going got has more going on than what you have going on, you try to pretend like you on their level. Like you ever got around somebody and like because they have access to you, like you know this ain't even no who's better than who. This is just me keeping it like all the way 1K with y'all. Y'all go in rooms with people that these people literally getting hundreds of thousands of dollars, damn near touching M's, maybe touching M's, got multiple bit, and you will pretend like you are on their level. Like instead of understanding like 48 laws of power and never outshining the master and you know this is chess not check because you're supposed to be here gaining gems and shit you in here trying to level yourself like next to the person as if you got like lying to yourself and then y'all will go tell yeah i was over there hanging out with so-and-so you know what i'm saying like shit you know a nigga like on the same level as then we trying to you know i'm trying you make it really like lying to yourself making yourself believe like you In this room with these people that you know, know more than you, you trying to make yourself feel like you, and then a lot of y'all, you sit there like make up shit to try to fit in and shit like that. How are you going to get smarter if you just keep pretending like you're something that you're not, that you know things that you don't, that you're level with people that you aren't when it comes to certain categories in life? Yeah, they get intimidated and they start. But the the biggest problem be you're lying to yourself. When y'all get around people that got it figured out in areas that you don't, bitch, be humble and soak up everything you can out they ass. Y'all put on a little bit of designer, get around somebody, you try to act like you on this. I be talking to people and it's like, they be like, you called me. And then you would sit on the phone and act like you you know everything I already know. And I be saying it like, it sound good. It sounds great. Now, when you get off the phone, you still got to go face the fact that you don't know the shit that you sitting here trying to act like with me that you know. And I watch people do it in it with music careers, businesses. They'll go to networking events. And instead of networking and trying to learn more, they're trying to walk around that bitch like their business popping. Now, you know you came to this networking event because you need to make more sales, rub elbows with more higher value people, get a better understanding of the industry you're in. You walk around this bitch giving out advice like your website already makes some M's, like your business and your pop-up shops already just doing big numbers. It makes no sense. These are the lies y'all tell. So y'all will blow whole opportunities to gain some new knowledge off of trying to make it seem like you got it figured out. Y'all do this with relationships and shit. You get around married couples and shit. People that, you know, I ain't talking about the fake married couples that y'all be used to. I'm talking about you get in the presence of a couple that's really loving on one another, really operating from a healthy space, got some years in. You know what I mean? And instead of asking, like, some advice from them, you sitting around acting like your relationship is on. You know that you and this nigga be beating each other ass. You over here with these people trying to pretend like everything. All, all you doing is missing your mark to be able to, like, gain more knowledge. Y'all think everything be about jealousy and, you know, somebody not feeling like they're better than y'all. Bitch, be honest with yourself about what the fuck you don't know. And when you move through rooms, move in order to gain knowledge so you can be better than what you currently is. Y'all be lying to y'all self. And that be a problem. Male and female. It goes on with everyone. Some of y'all niggas, y'all be trying to make it seem like you're doing way better than what you're doing. And if you keep telling yourself this, you're never going to do better. I know a lot of shit only because I read a lot. It ain't because I'm just way better than other people. I'm willing to spend my spare time reading, quieting my thoughts, and fucking learning some stuff I don't already know. The average person, especially coming from where I come from, they ain't willing to do that. They want to sit around and just talk to one another and, and feel like if she give you everything in her brain and you give her everything in your brain or he tell you everything he thinking that y'all somehow like a higher level version of self. I've been learned a long time ago. Bitch, if you're not getting in books, if you're not going out learning the lessons from your experiences you the same motherfucker you was five years ago even though you older older don't just mean wiser knowing a bunch of people don't mean you know shit but like when i i know a lot 
But when I get in rooms with people that know more than me, bitch, you won't even know I'm me. Because I'm in this motherfucker quiet, soaking up game. And I try to get in rooms often where the people know more than me. I'm looking, watching they ass damn right. Paying attention to how he move. Boy, this nigga got... They got a... This... These businesses, this going on, I'm asking questions. Bitch, you wouldn't even, I done left places and people done wrote me afterwards like, damn, I didn't know you was love, Dorsey. You weren't supposed to, because in the room with y'all, I supposed to know who y'all is. Y'all ain't supposed to know who I am. I came in there to get some information. I ain't coming there to tell y'all who I am. It's a time and a place for everything. But see, y'all feel like y'all already up on it all the times, all the places. Y'all already know everything. Already got everything figured out. Don't want to hear nothing. Defensive on everything. Emotions blocking your ability to learn anything. Don't want to read. You're spare. Like, a lot of y'all, if you calculate how many hours in a week, calculate how many hours you actually work, and then how many hours you sleep. Like, that spare time is the game-changing hours. The work hours, you got to work. The sleep hours, you got to sleep. Now, what you doing in that other, you know, X amount of hours for the week, that determines where the fuck you at in your life. Yeah, they be smart dummies. And told they self they know more than what they know. And it'd be funny for me because people like me, like, I be knowing the stuff. I know I got it from a book. Like, or I got it from this particular course or this um, Zoom or this. But I know I went and acquired this strategy from this. And then people will try to pretend like, like after you tell it to them, they've been. If you ain't read that book, I know you didn't know that because the lady that wrote that book, she made that up. Like she came up with that. The scientist that did this came up with that. You, you, you lying. But I, you, for me, I don't like to sit up and you watch the smart dumb, dummies and you let them think, you know, whatever they think it makes sense. Yep. No, you're right. You already, you don't need me. You got it figured out. Go ahead. I know I don't got it figured out. When I go in rooms with people that know more than me, bitch, I'm like a kid. Can you tell me this? And then how y'all did this? Okay, and what do I do after this? What do I do with this? You would think I don't know nothing. Because, bitch, I'm always trying to learn something. Never trying to pretend like I know something I don't. Got something I don't. Been somewhere I haven't. You know, understood something I didn't understand. Spare time is definitely game-changing hours. And a lot of y'all, you don't do nothing but surf the web in your spare time. You know, buy shit to make yourself feel like you're doing better than what you're doing. Or just exchange feelings with people. Because that's what's going on. Not everybody, like, telling each other what they feel about something. But there is what you feel, then there's what the fuck's going on. You can't cash vibes. You can't motherfucking cash feelings. Bitch, I always talking about they thoughts that they done processed in their mind based on no education, just based on how you felt about something that happened. I just wanted to share this with y'all. Man, some of y'all, you in your own way. You are your own worst enemy. The ops that you keep talking about, they in your head. That's really what's going on. And a lot of y'all, you be around people and they are more successful than you. And you will pretend as though you are on some level of success that you're not. And the people be knowing, like, you don't even got your basis together. Hell, some of the people be looking at y'all, they could tell, like, I used to be where you're at. And they can give you game on exactly how to come up out of that. But you're not going to be able to hear it because you already think you out of it when you ain't. It's a lot of people ain't gonna admit it. And I'm gonna be real, the shit's a turn off for me. For friends, for shit's a turn off to sit there with somebody. And like, especially for people like me, like I've studied like psychology and the way people process information, you know, watching people's habits, their body language, you know, so I can sit there and look and just really listen, let a bitch talk long enough. They're gonna show you their whole hand. You know what I mean? Because half the time a person trying to convince you of how to feel or what to think about them. Right. And when you look at psych and, and behavior analysis and how people like operate under pressure when they trying to lie, when they trying to fit in, you will literally see they trying to convince you the opposite of what's really going on. Shit like this be a turn off. It'd be a turn. I'd be sitting there like this bitch really think this nigga really think. Now, she really think a bitch believe if you like it, I love it. If you believe it, it don't even matter whether I believe it or not.
from me to y'all, man, a lot of y'all in your own way. Your inability to be able to quiet your thoughts and actually get in the world and gain new knowledge is your biggest obstacle. It's not what people did to you. It's what you did after they did whatever they did. It's how much you tolerate. It's how much you don't read, how much you don't educate yourself, how much you go around and you talk more than you listen. You know, the old folks say you got two ears and one mouth. That means you're supposed to listen twice as much as your ass talk. Especially when you're around folk that you know they got a little bit more figured out in this world than you do. This is how you learn. Y'all sit there. A lot of y'all self tell y'all self, I get a bag. I'm already know what to do with it. If I do, you ain't ain't put no real work into understanding how to move better with money. You think you just going to have it figured out. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. I got a Zoom tonight. Um on budgeting. If you're trying to get in that Zoom, text 678-965-0698. Um, I literally give my budgeting strategies on, you know, how to really start moving different with your money, get a, get control over how you got your life set up. And then I got a Zoom coming tomorrow as well. I'm going to post both topics, man. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.